OK, you want to filter records to a different worksheet. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method will work for whatever version of Excel you have. The second method, which is a lot easier, will work in Excel 365. OK, let's start off with the first method. Now, the first method uses the advanced filter in Excel. And what you're going to need to do is alongside your data, create another little table. And you're going to need to include in this other table the column headings for the criteria you want to apply. Now, these must be exactly the same as the column headings in your data. So your best bet is to copy and paste the column headings in. Then underneath those column headings, you can put in your criteria. So I want to return cash payment types with a transaction value greater than, let's say, 5,000 rather than 1,000. And I want to extract those records to this sheet. OK. Now, your first step is to click somewhere in the sheet that you want to extract the records to. You must do that first. And then you go to the data tab on your ribbon. You go to the advanced button. Your list range is back on the other sheet. That's the data that you want to filter. And that includes the column headings. And your criteria range is back on the other sheet. And that must also include the column headings plus the row or rows with your criteria. Then you want to select this option, copy to another location. And then you click in Copy To, this little box down here. And then you select the cell that you want to copy the filtered records to. So I've selected cell A1. Click on OK. And then if I widen the columns, you can see it's returned those three records. Now, one thing that is disappointing with the advanced filter is that it doesn't automatically update if you change your filter criteria. So if I go back to the Data tab, and I change this to vouch. What I'd want to happen is this advanced filter would automatically update, but it doesn't. But you can get around this by using a small little bit of VBA code. Now, to use this VBA code, you right click on the sheet tab for the sheet that contains your data. And then you go to view code. And this is the code that you'll need to use. I'm just going to uncomment it. And I'll explain exactly what this code does. Now, this code will run whenever there is a selection change in the data sheet. And the first thing it's going to do is clear all cells in sheet four. Now, sheet four is the code name for the sheet that contains the advanced filter results. So it's going to get rid of any results or formatting that are currently in that sheet. Then the rest of the code refers to the advanced filter. So range A1 to E20 dot advanced filter. So that is the range of cells that I'm filtering, A1 to E20. Action, Excel filter copy. So that's instead of filtering in place, we're copying the filtered results to another location. Criteria range is range H1 to I2. And that's that range there. And the copy two range is sheet four. Again, that's the advanced filter sheet range A1. So that's just the top left cell in that sheet. So now if I just close that down, say I change this to debit card with a transaction value greater than 2000 and go back to my advanced filter, you can see it's now returned the relevant results. OK, so that's the first method you can use to filter Excel data to a different worksheet. The second method is available to Excel 365 users, and that uses the filter function. And it's a lot easier to use. So over in this filter function worksheet, I've already got the column headings for the data that I want to filter. And what I would do is click in the first row beneath my column headings and I'd use the filter function. So the first argument is array. That's the data that you want to filter. So that's back on the data sheet, range A2 to E20. I don't need to include the column headings, comma. 
Now the second argument is include. So this is where you express your criteria. So my first criteria is that the payment type must equal the value in H2. So what I do is I select all the payment type cells and then I put in my comparison operator, which would be equals, and then I select my criteria. Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see that it returns all of the debit card transactions. I haven't yet included my second criteria. Now with the filter function, I do need to do some work in terms of formatting. So on the home tab of my ribbon, I'm going to format those values as dates, these as currency, and I need to widen that column. Now let's talk about adding the second criteria. So go back into my filter function. To add a second criteria, I'd need to first of all, put the first criteria in brackets, and then I'd put in the multiplication symbol. Now the multiplication symbol is used for and criteria, where both criteria need to be met. If you're doing all criteria, which we're not here, you'd use the plus symbol. So I'd open another bracket, and I'd express the second criteria. So back to the data sheet. And I'm saying, are these transaction values greater than? So greater than is my comparison operator. You can see that up here, this value here. And then I need another close bracket at the end. Now you'll see I get the calc error. And that's because I've got a greater than symbol in this cell. So I need to take that out if I'm using the filter function. But now you'll see that it's returned the correct results. And the great thing about the filter function is that it will automatically update. So if I change this to cash, go back to my filter function sheet, you can see it's returned the relevant results. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.